Hello everyone, am I audible? Hi everyone, am I audible? My audience, can you please respond if I'm audible? Good evening. So gradually we are seeing that numbers are increasing, students are joining. So let's wait for five, six more minutes, right? So that everyone joins and they don't miss the session. As today is going to be very interesting session, which you would need in your day to day life. Right. So I am waiting for the participants for five more minutes and exactly after five minutes, we shall begin the session. Thank you so much. All right. A very good evening, everyone. I hope 
your day is going well and yes at many places the weather would have been really really pleasant right and you're keeping really safe with your family members and enjoying your learning right is it okay yes i'm sure you must have been enjoying so in the last we have covered four sessions which we have covered how to give the presentations we have understood how to have the effective communications and we have also had the understanding of how to write the pronunciation correct right so now in this particular session we'll be doing email writing so email writing is something that is required for it's all your three purposes all together one it's um, official uh, you know information second thing for for many companies they have one of the selection processes as email writing so they might can give you one email to write right and they would have some keywords some word limits right and maybe a time limit of 30 minutes or 20 25 minutes so on so they would like to check how do you draft a mail because it is very 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 important once you enter into the official or the professional world or in corporate now the third use is whenever you would be approaching a company whether as a fresher as an experience as an intern you would have to write the email right to the hr to the clients to your officials to your colleagues to your peers to your managers to communicate now if you don't have effective email writing skills you would you would face lot of communication barriers as you would not be able to uh, depict you would not be able to convey what exactly you think right what exactly you want to say maybe there is a lot of errors that comes across your way or you don't know how to draft a mail maybe your mail sounds too harsh maybe your mail is too 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 pleasing right so we have to make a balance of it right so that's the reason we need to understand email writing now i would like to ask from my audience first question what is email writing to you second why is it important and then we will discuss it you have exactly 1 minute to think and write okay conveying messages it's a need very good dhruv says to report the progress at work we are working currently e uh, currently doing or to transfer the data all right then joshini again says importance is formal communication conversation in working zones or areas to share some notice of office to make bridge between students universities and industries email is to convey information request electronically very nice 
emails are used both in general and external communication to communicate people email is universal challenge to business worldwide all right thank you so much mr prashant now let's discuss now first of all i am sure uh, many of you would know that email is uh, electronic mail so whenever you are sharing information using the technology and electronically right if you are sharing any draft mail messages right is your email now one use i told you it can be a one of the selection processes if you are appearing for uh, any job hunt maybe possibly they would have either uh, essay writing or it could be email writing possibly email writing because they want to see the two purposes all together that whether you are good at writing or not second do you have any sense of how to draft a mail because they would not want a naive user who even don't know who how to write a professional email because in the professional world whenever you will be a corporate uh, professional there is no point there is no value to your words however you commit that you know maybe um, you know i swear on my mom what i am saying is right so they would say buddy please write me a mail <laughs> right so as a as a student it is absolutely fine you conversate maybe on whatsapp chats or uh, Uh, or maybe by messages by verbal communication but the sooner you reach the official or the professional world that has no no value to your words you convey for example because i am in a habit of giving examples always and live examples you are a boss right and you asked your colleague to send a report or tell them the numbers of 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 uh, employees those who really got certified with aws now you said you came to him and you said in the roughly figures sir there are 165 employees those who get got aws certified this month he would be right okay maybe out of his mind it got skipped now one month later he asked the same report now you even do not have the proof that where this email where, where today share this data and even don't remember how many people were there now you have to do all the juggled work again now had it been the case you have kept all the communication over the mail so you just had to write in the search bar and find out the date uh, find out that particular email with the revert and you could have shared it right so that's how email culture has come upon and it has also reduced manpower in terms of maintaining the manual records so in olden days what used to happen is people used to remember all these things manually by writing something in the paper they used to maintain the logs they used to maintain so many things all together nowadays the technology has really really coming up so why not to take the advantage so it has been decided now anything any exchange of information even if it is a very tiny information that has to be shared or informed conveyed it will only be passed through email now the platforms could be different it could be gmail it could be rediff it could be yahoo it could be outlook or some companies they they have their own domains maximum big companies they have their own domains you have sap mail you have zoho so you have different uh, platforms on which you are communicated all right so but the agenda here is how to draft a mail now here i might have students those are already proficient into it but i would want also have students those who are really new to it right so considering all the benefits and all the considerations out here i'll be starting from the scratch what email is and how do we do it now before i start i have few questions for you now give me in the chat box the answers 
these are the questions don't give me one by one the rule is don't give me one by one one screen at a time that's how i miss all these information so for example if priyanka is answering then priyanka will give me answers of all these question in one chat it shouldn't be like you know for different question different chat window is open no take your time i am giving you a minute don't be in hurry of answering this question understand and then answer all right all right let's start only two people gave the answer others are you still doing or what all right so let me discuss these questions i am just trying to answer them okay for your information just read okay hmm okay so many of you now started giving answers now let us discuss them one by one okay now let's discuss them first of all the questions okay just mix minimize all right now one of the best ways to organize your inbox is with label 
right so the first thing is that whenever you want to organize your inbox you can have the labels in your email now how to do it i'll show you in the practical implementation when i'll tell you how to draft a mail i'll share how to make the labels also don't worry right now <clears throat> maybe labels or maybe uh, you can tell them uh, you know you can have like you have folders so for example when you create the labels what happens is all the labels that you create so those ids uh, for example if you mark the label as uh, you know your company name so any email that will come with that particular name will lend into that particular label only so that's how you manage your labels now the second and foremost important thing is email you keep in case you need the information later are called what start mails okay you can say that now what does it mean when a email email bounces so when does it bounce it bounces back when the in the email id that you have given is not correct maybe the inbox of the receiver is almost full right so it is it has no memory now so in that case also what happens it gets bounce back so these are three reasons of of an email to get bounced either the email id is incorrect receiver is uh, is is uh, heavily loaded with the emails he doesn't have the free space to accept it in that case also it gets bounced so whenever you are maintaining any official email id so ensure that your mail is cleaned properly and regularly because when we uh, are in the official place and you are highly designated so you will be flooded with the emails every after uh, you know minute so in that case you know clear your trash when it is not required only keep the important mails that's how you save memory that's how you you know uh, save your space now what does this fy stands for i am sure many of my students would have will already have been following this it's, it's for for your information right now if a mail is written and i just want to acknowledge the second person what i'll do is i'll write there fyi i need not to write entire story just i want to say fyi for your information this is what i have been sharing so that stands for fyi now this what is nntr and nnto so when any of my friends here they gave this uh, you know correct abbreviation for this which is um, need not to respond and need not to open now what is this nntr and nnto now need not to respond i am sure if you would have uh, received some bulk emails some promotional emails so they uh, what they do is when they draft a mail when they draft a mail what they do is in front of that subject line what they do is they will write it as an ntr that means you need not to respond on this mail or maybe no reply mails these are for only of for your information you they are not expecting any kind of action from you so those kind of uh, mails are known as uh, nntr mails wherein the receiver the sender is not expecting any reward on that mail he want you to just understand and acknowledge it that's all now nnto that means need not to open now any uh, idea that why do we write nnto what is the use of nnto anyone from my audience any idea all right so let me explain you so what happens is why why do you write uh, not fake nnto means need not to open uh what happens is sometimes when i draft a mail right i'm sure everybody is familiar with the email right so you do have three uh, you know headings there one is to cc bcc and then your subject line now what happens is 
I drafted a mail and in my subject line I wrote let me show you with an example I think that will make you understand better So I have created one dummy ID for you, right? This is just a dummy ID. All right, so this is here you are. Now, Now what I'll do is, I'm sure you all can see my screen. All of you can see my screen. Can you all see my screen? All right, all right, thank you. Thank you so much. Now. I'll show you here. Now, this is how your email looks like, right? Now, this Gmail has a few options like inbox, start mail, to whom, uh, you know, let me explain you what is NNTO. Now, NNTO is, for example, I would write an email to, let's say, Priyanka. I don't know what is her ID. So, I write here Priyanka. Right, maybe her email ID, so and so. CC, I want to keep somebody from Venture Buddy. Right. I'm sure this is a wrong email ID. That's why, why it is giving me the red color. BCC, what I'll explain to you. Now, subject line is, these are my team members. Priyanka, Varun. Right, so Yasir. Right, Visme. So these people are my team members, right? Now I would like to draw, draft a mail to them. I'll explain you each and everything in the practical go. Don't worry. I write here, meeting 17th July.
कॉन्फ्रेंस हॉल टू टू पी एम एन एन टी ओ नाउ सी नाउ वट हैपन्स एट हाउट हियर इज I have given in this is my subject line. I I'll, I'll tell you what is it. It is my subject line. If I would not have this subject line, my reader would never get to understand. My recipient will never get to understand that what is the mail all about. For example, if you see my uh, inbox, right? now inbox says that if i receive 100 mails how as a manager as an hr recruiter i would understand that this mail i have to really read or this mail i have to ignore so that totally depends on the subject line that you mention out here right so how is it important it's important for every person to write impactful short crisp and clear subject line always when you are drafting a mail right so now when i say meeting that means i am scheduling a meeting when on 17 july where in conference hall 2 uh, at what time 2 pm and need not to open now if i send this mail to my colleagues to my team members they will understand that my subject is the entire mail i need not to open the body of the mail because there is nothing inside is it clear or should i repeat it once again is it clear or should i repeat once again i don't mind if i have to repeat 10 times i want you to all to understand okay dhruv says please repeat okay now what happens is if i want to inform my team about a meeting right so rather drafting the entire mail what i preferred was writing the subject line meeting 17 july conference hall 2 pm and need not to open so as and when they would receive this email they will have a subject line out here like here can you see the subject line so this is the subject line test mail review your account so this is what this is just my subject line so this comes first on the screen right <clears throat> this is see if you all can see here this is the subject line this is the subject line now what happens let me use this so this is my head subject line which any receiver will see the receiver will first see this so now my receiver will not have to open this email he doesn't or she doesn't have to waste his time they will only understand okay there is a meeting schedule on 17th july right conference hall to and he or she doesn't have to open the entire mail so need not to open so that saves their time and at the effort they will have the information in the subject line only so that's the meaning of your nnto i hope now it's clear to everyone out here everyone very good please do not hesitate if you don't understand because this is something really new and excited for exciting for you to understand all these things right right now let me come back to my ppt again okay so that is the meaning of nnto now what does this eom stands for what is this eom any idea what is this eom many of my friends gave the right answer it is end of mail now you will be saying ma'am what is this end of mail do i need to write it in the email that this mail is now ended here so the answer is no 
you don't have to draft you don't have to write at the end of the mail that this mail, mail is ended for example if i write the body now i am sure you all can see here that i have drafted one uh, just a sample mail or you can just say this is in a hurry what i could write the best right so i wrote it all here now can you all see this can you all see this can you all see this this is nothing but an e o m this is e o m end of mail now the moment i add here the double hyphens my audience or my receiver will get to understand there is nothing important beyond this line so there even if you write your xyz important things out here it is considered as null and void why because the receiver knows the mail ethics and he would get to understand this is only a signature part but there is nothing very important left for me beyond this so this is the meaning of eom end of mail it will have just your signatory part apart from this there will be nothing mentioned out here now do you understand or do i need to repeat it again understood everyone everyone great so quickly um i am just giving you 5 minutes of water break right and i'll just join after 5 minutes just give me 5 minutes for water break i'm just joining
right i'm back thank you so much now many of my participants were saying that ma'am please explain eom once again so let me explain them once again what eom is exactly so eom is end of mail so how my receiver will understand that there is nothing beyond email or about this right so is it like your email is acting like a never ending process or is it must have a ending right now how will the receiver will understand that it's it has an ending by these double hyphens can you see these double hyphens so these double hyphens states that this email ends here you are not allowed to write anything in the body or any important information beyond this that's the meaning of eom that's the reason with every mail you put this a double hyphen that states now your email ends here even in many of the emails it is given by default you don't have to mention it it's given by default that whenever you write they give us a double hyphen that means your mail ends here right it will have just a closure but nothing else i'm sure now you got it any doubt so far should i need to repeat once again should i need to repeat it once again or is it clear all clear all right that's fabulous now let's come back to the again now my ppt says if your email does not require a confirmation or a reply what is recommended course of action what do you need to do you need to write no need to an nto or an ntr an ntr will be the right answer absolutely right akash wonderful if an email contains informations about an event or an appointment then what is recommended that you should do you should if an email contains an information maybe information about any event some appointments or some special event an nto in that case what will you do if an email no not at all what is the recommended uh, that you should do then you are required to put it in your calendar now for example if you if yes confirmation so what will you do is you will put it in your calendar so what what examples what what happens is uh whenever you uh, get such kind of information for example you get a mail right so that mail states uh, uh you know that mail states um meeting scheduled for 26 of august 17 uh, you know 5 pm in international conference hall uh, maybe in um, bangalore or mumbai or it's a video conferencing right you have to join it so this is an information which has come to you ab um, now i understand we all are humans we have the tendency to forget right now this email a person would not remind you every second uh, day that there is a event scheduled on 26th of august there is a event scheduled after 26th of august however people generally follow up these days but we cannot rely on these uh, uh, reminders as a professional so as a professional what i'll do is i'll save it into my calendar the calendar which is already given into our emails or in my system why because it will give me a reminder or you keep checking your calendar it will keep give you a reminder that after two days three days there is a meeting scheduled so you do not miss you do not miss any of the important meetings that's the reason it's always necessary for us to maintain the record or put your information important information into 
your calendar is it clear or should i need to repeat it once again clear everyone clear or all clear my audience today you seems you want to enjoy the weather the weather more than the class energy is coming very low okay so jigar i am telling you for example you receive any email which states that in uh, maybe in another two months or one and a half months you have a uh, event scheduled maybe right and they share one uh, date date timings and everything so as a human it's not possible to remember everything that what is going to happen in one and a half months ago unless you are so so uh, you know non occupied that you can remember all these things right so what you do is as a working professional as a busy person what you do is you put every important information important event state in your calendar in your system calendar so once you put in all the information there so this keeps keeps giving you the reminders and hence you don't miss out any important information right so these were the answers right now these are few better tips for email writing so now these are the few tips that you need to have is include a clear direct subject line right your subject should be crisp and clear what happens is whenever you write the mail now your subject decides whether this mail should be opened or should not be opened now i'll give you one example out here is now tomorrow you will apply for internships you will apply for um, uh, for jobs right before going to any corporate or that ways you will apply for the jobs right for the organizations they will ask you to drop a mail so what will you do just you will put in the email id and then attach, please find attach your resume no you would have to draft the entire email by giving the proper subject line right so if your subject line meets my expectation then only i would invest my time to open the entire mail right right otherwise you need not to so otherwise i'll feel that if if the email has a valid subject line then though maybe i will invest my time to open the mail else i would prefer to ignore it because i have been already occupied with so many things that i would not put my more efforts to write read the entire mail however this mail could be very very important how will i get to understand it's an important mail when it will be mentioned out here how will will be it will be mentioned out here i'll give you one example if i write here as urgent right right now whenever whenever now can you see here in the subject line urgent meeting scheduled now every second person will understand that this mail is very urgent you have to have to have to open it this has some important information inside i am sure those who all have the gmail accounts those who all have the gmail accounts what they do is uh, you know what 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 they do is <clears throat> um uh, have you seen some spam messages also in your email account right so those spam mails will have urgent important good news congratulations wow right extra bonanza offer right you are lucky uh, lucky offer uh, do, do you read such promotional mails that keeps uh, you know coming to your uh, you know keeps coming to your uh, uh, inbox yes fresh is applying for job yes congratulation appointment letter offer letter right the such kind of emails you keep receiving so these are promotional emails which grabs the eyeball of the sender of the receiver so obviously if as a as a receiver you also you you receive an email stating congratulations for your new job obviously if there is nothing inside but still what will you do is you will spend some time to open the mail because you have already applied in so many companies that now you want to open that mail and would like to check what is going on inside now what you did at least 
the receiver what they intended was they wanted you to open at least the email to check what is it so such kind of promotional emails always uh, have the strong subject line so coming to the uh, point here is your mail whether it should be open it should not be open depends on how strong do you write your subject right am i clear now clear not clear or all clear yes ma'am what we have to write in subject line when we are sending our resume yes absolutely the valid question now for example if you have to write the subject to apply <clears throat> now first of all how, now you tell me first what do you think i'll to tell you but what do you think what should be my subject line if i'm applying for a job application for a job applying for a position on your company okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. correct you can write here as applying for job data analyst right aws certified i don't know whether i'm writing correct in terms of technology technical thing right i don't really know so that's how your subject line would be or you can write down your name also maybe if i want to write it here as jitesh right now comes the story now the person would understand there is a application for the job for the post of data analyst the person is aws certified and the name is jigar so that's how your subject line would be short simple and clear right and then possibly you will write down the uh, email ids right now somebody was asking me what is the concept of this cc bcc and uh, cc so first of all the ids which all will come in two so the id that comes in two are the persons from whom we are expecting the revert or action i am doing everything in live i am not giving you any theoretical you know uh, learnings i am telling you everything doing practical so that you understand these things i am sure and i am vouching on this that you know these things will definitely help you out in your future can be used regarding subject uh, regarding will come once you are trying to say like regarding job uh, offering regarding uh, uh, maybe uh, events regarding complaints or something like that sort right now <clears throat> revert or an action cc just i want them to be acknowledged or just to be informed bcc those for pulp mills now to whom do we keep in two we keep all those people those ids in two 
from whom we are expecting the direct actions they are the action makers right if i am expecting a file from jigger that please send me a file where you have jotted down all the theory questions now jigger will be kept in two for example you are work, you are my colleagues so you are i'm your boss so i'll write here jigger uh, in uh, two because i'm expecting five documents from him so that person will be in two his manager would be in cc now people cc means carbon copy so these people are kept in cc just to be acknowledged just to be informed but we are not expecting any kind of actions response or maybe uh, you know um, any um, what should i say uh, you know validated something from these people these people are kept in cc just to be acknowledge and inform that this is something which isn't going on so they are always kept in kept in blue now let's talk about bcc which is blind carbon copy now blind carbon copy is always maintained but it is always discretion to the organization you are working with some organization it's a very interesting thing some organization they highly not recommend people to write bcc can you please tell me why why people do not promote bcc okay because it did not reach up to the expectation of let them team members each one so that are okay okay let uh, let uh, no team members each one so that ma'am no what happens is when we share the bulk mails for example if i am a promotional company and i want to share the bulk mail right i don't want because i want to maintain the privacy of my other participants as well right so what the people do is they they keep these ids into bcc so here the bcc people can see the people in two but they cannot see amongst each other they will go blind that's the meaning of blind carbon copy but if you will go in it companies the it companies they strictly do not allow and promote the culture of bulk uh, bcc can you tell me why they do not promote this anyone here why do you think that companies do not pro, uh, promote bcc because of trust absolutely right akash now what happens is for information should not be exceeded to others yes so for example now today if i am sharing very important information so what i'll do is i can put people in bcc just to see the uh, important data and if the important data is leaked or it disclosed to the unauthorized person it is a crime it's it's really a crime no company will spare you out for this and it may cost you termination blacklisted so many companies they do follow this very very strictly so whenever you are joining any of the organizations so definitely be much much informed much much be very very careful that whether they promote this culture or not so avoid using any bcc if you come to know definitely there is a punishable act 
but just for your information i wanted to disclose what is bcc is it all clear everyone yes no maybe all right thank you so much for the acknowledgement now it says use a professional email address now this is very interesting this is very interesting if i say use a professional email address what is the reason the breach of trust the actual reason can you say in one word is is breaching of trust the bcc is not used okay yes and a uh, professional mails are always avoided by the receiver now i am not going personal i am not highlighting anyone out here but when i when i receive emails so email ids of my professionals are so so funny for example it was uh it was uh, what some girl she had one name i don't know i don't want to mention her name her name was her name then she mentioned out there barbie girl at the rate of gmail.com for boys even they had hulk you know his name then hulk at the rate of gmail.com right it was some uh, you know uh, maybe some superheroes name and then gmail.com yahoo mail.com so when the receiver receives such kind of unprofessional email ids they would believe that the person is not even sensible to reach that maturity to understand what is the importance of official language even some have the you know this uh, cute smile right or maybe you know the uh, uh, coder from inside so these kind of emails looks very unprofessional very kiddish so even if you have one please change it create one official id for yourself so what is the good format of making one professional id for yourself is your last name dot first name at the rate of domain name this is a perfect example of making uh, your uh, email id last name dot first name at the rate of domain name domain could be any right if that email id is not possible you can give it a special uh, some numbers you can give your, e your for example if your name is jigger shah it could be shah dot uh, jigger uh, <clears throat> last four characters of your uh, of your phone number maybe some special characters you can pick from your date of birth any lucky number any auspicious number and i'm sure you will get one if not if not find a suitable and very confidential very uh, official email id for you rather than having these you know gloomy and those uh, uh, very kiddish email ids if you have one please keep it for your personal use but if you are going for the professional world avoid them it's droof nkbps at the rate of gmail id it it can be considered as a uh, as official there is nothing wrong in it droof it's absolutely fine now can you tell me why do you think why do you need to think before hitting to reply all why do you need to think twice to hit reply all where is reply all let me show you if i get one email i'm sure this is a promotional email that's the reason it will not come else if i get any email so that shows reply right if there would be more than one recipient so it would have shown one uh, header called reply all now can you see here it says google no reply it says google no reply that means you don't have to reply on this email it will not be sended
correct now tell me why do you need to think before maybe for some examples for some uh, response you need not to reply to everyone who is attached to this email right sometimes the receiver doesn't want you should reply to everybody in this right maybe that information should not be reached to that person so that's the reason whenever you are saying reply all right so need to check whether these recipients are validated or not if not you remove them if yes keep them now include a signature block now what do you understand from signature block has anyone worked on signature block ever has anyone worked on signature block ever no let me show you can anyone see uh, everyone can see the settings go to settings right let me bring this screen to here now it will ask you what kind of settings do you want so you need to see all kind of settings see all settings now it will have a signature block signature can you all see my screen create new what do you want to keep it as a signature let's keep it for jigger okay jigger or let's create with a candidate name and candidate so i want to create one signature candidate now i can write it as a maybe analyst i'm just giving you one example analyst then maybe some company name now it shows your creativity like what names do you want to keep so how do you keep uh, what style do you choose for yourself do you want to keep it in bold do you want to keep them in italic you want them to be in underlined then what should be the text color that you would like to choose for right and then what do you do is for new email use candidate for no replies candidate first day july last time i am not giving anything right then you will write your the entire story once again and then save changes now whenever you write a mail it will give you the signature block now absolutely right now can you now do you all understand how to create signature everybody got to understand everybody now here comes your creativity whether you want to upload some picture the company's logo your complete address but what all things should be there in under signature block let me explain you it will have your name it will have your company's logo it will have your email id now people will say ma'am when i would be sending the email id would automatically reach but we cannot assume it we have to write it as email id name and then your designation i'm so sorry designation your company's logo email id your linkedin id or maybe your phone number your phone or contact number contact number sounds more professional right all right so that's how your signature block would be okay okay let me explain you once again so what you need to do is 
you need to click on settings once you reach to the settings see all settings then comes your signature block so because you don't have a signature so it will ask you to create new so you can write here maybe any of your name right for example i'm changing it as a trainer right because uh, as a trainer training possibly so everything got changed right so you can upload the picture out here it will ask you to upload the insert image if you all can see here right it will ask you to insert the image if you want to if you don't want to you can skip it you can skip it if you don't want if you want you can if you want to link if you want to link any uh, you know maybe any website uh, page or something that's what you can do it from here right it shows a person who is writing the mail no yes it shows who is writing the mail now here you will write you can change the color of your text whether you want blue whether you want but i don't uh, prefer to go for any jazzy color the black is always nice but if you want some promotional uh, companies they prefer some good vibrant neon colors just to attract the audience they may preferably good go for some bright colors but i do not prefer people to use it in professional word black works the best now if, if anything very special in uh, your writing so could be blue but nothing like that and you know beyond that now you can change the text style maybe to italics or you don't want to be in italics you want to keep it keep them in bold or not and what is the text style that you would like to go for you can change it according to your comfort but then choose the professional ones so now this ask you the where do you want these signatures to go default with every new mail use yes on reply or forward you so even if you are replying to somebody or forwarding any mail in that condition also you want your uh, signature to be considered so these two uh, things would be uh, you know um, set by the sender only so if you want to share this uh, signature with every email new email then you can put the setting as default or else if you forward or reply to an email you should get the signature automatically done then also you can choose it once you choose it you can use it in the uh, snippets you can use it in vacation responder off or on if you are on vacations uh, you can uh, click to this and you can say when, when when are you on the vacations you can put some messages that ways and some subject line out of the office right so you can write down sub subject line and then some messages that you want your uh, you know your participants to know so this is all a part of your signature block you can see and then save your changes right so whenever you compose a mail you will get your signature automatically here now you don't have to type every time who you are rather writing thanks regards so and so what i'll do is i'll make one signature block for myself and keep it as default so now can you see that i don't have to do anything this double hyphen this double hyphen and then signature block comes automatically i don't have to change anything out here can you all see this that saves time right now what happens is here now when you add the signature block first of all let's see the importance of signature block what is the importance of signature now for example if i have received a mail from one of the very very designated person from the company obviously i am not going to ignore it right second if i have received a mail i would get to know that from whom am i getting this mail just email id doesn't give the introduction the signature block will give me the introduction that this is a person 
this is his designation from this company he belongs to if i want to meet him or if i want to communicate with him i am having his contact details i have his linkedin account i have his email id email id eventually i would have it because he has sent the mail so that's the importance of making your signatures after every email plus it looks very professional also whenever you are joining if you are in jo you are joining any company always use their logos it looks very professional all right got it everyone is it clear to everyone thank god i was able to explain everyone out here that's amazing and trust me guys if you make your signatures that saves you a lot of time it gives the authenticity to your emails it's very 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 important right uh, also you can activate your vacation mode on i would like to show you and brief you once again how do you do it see <laughs> now let's assume now let's assume okay let me show you let me show you what is the purpose of signature block i am sure people got it okay what is the use of vacation mode now let's say you are on vacation you are holding a position of uh, of a manager correct now you are on vacations you could be on vacations now you don't can you cannot reply to every mail that i am on vacations so i'll be back on 18th of uh, 18th of august and uh, i'll respond you there so when you become a manager or a tl your responsibility do increase right so every time when you are on vacation so you need to enjoy your personal life your private time with your family with your loved ones right so what will you do will you and yes obviously it has always been taught to you that every email should be responded you should timely check your uh, emails and if you are at a designated place so you do cannot afford a time when you are on vacations to check your emails or what on them so what happens is we do have a facility out here to to keep this vacation responder on so what will you do is for a while you will keep it on first day from when you want it to happen is 16 until what date you will be there let's say 23 out of desk will revert shortly or maybe if you want to keep some uh, this thing a uh, some subject that uh, i'm on vacations right or something like that sort you know will revert soon just just an example and only send the response to people in my contact right you only want to send this to only people in my contact and you can save changes now what happens is as soon as i will receive any email i repeat as soon as i would re receive any email now my vacation mode because i have activated it it will send an auto respond to the sender that the receiver is out of vacation will be back on 26 or whatever the message you have put in here i am on vacations will be back on uh, 26th of or uh, 14th of february wherever it is right so the receiver will have the idea okay this person is on vacation i don't have to disturb him again and again if he will find that this is a very urgent mail in that case he can connect with him over the call or maybe mentioning urgent call 
then obviously it's your responsibility to revert but you will have a time by keeping the vacation mon mode on you will have a time to revert them maybe by evening night or maybe the next day you are not held responsible for these actions there and then that's the reason when uh, it is used in the companies very very diligently and very very cohesively i hope you understood what is vacation mode now everyone right i'm glad you all enjoying it now where were we okay use professional salutations now what are salutations okay so uh, these i think these things because this is again a very big topic to be discussed i think we will discuss in tomorrow's class now all these things right so tomorrow we'll be meeting at the same time only so we will be starting from salutations what are salutations what is uh, closures what is the body of any email so this is everything that we are going to cover in tomorrow's class with a fresh mind otherwise it will go above your head beyond your head right uh, do revise all these concepts right and tomorrow we are meeting again at 10 o'clock in the morning with a fresh mind with a good mood with refreshing knowledge right uh, uh, so till then can we keep it on hold and meet tomorrow till then you can also enjoy your time have your dinner with your families loved ones enjoy and do whatever you feel like doing to refresh yourselves right all right so that's all for today let's meet tomorrow at 10 and let's discuss the another features of email writing and trust me this will be again and another fun all right thank you so much i hope you loved the session again if yes please drop in the chat box if you do like this session thank you so very much and i have a great evening ahead good night bye